Let us now talk about jumps in stochastic differential equations. So it is important to incorporate jumps in your differential equation because they can be unforeseen circumstances which might have a positive impact on the market. So for example, say more discovery of oil, more discovery of shale gas, but there are also events which have negative impact. For example, start of an unforeseen war, earthquake or a tsunami, all these things have a negative impact and they're not uh, foreseen. So there has to be some kind of a model to incorporate that. So what we are going to do is we are going to simulate the Wasicek model and the jumps we are going to have are Gaussian jumps. That is the jumps come from a normal distribution with mean zero and variance sigma square. But we also have to pick up the time for the jump. So the time we model on a Poisson distribution with intensity lambda. Now I have already talked about Poisson distribution in my lectures on probability. So you can go there and have a look at Poisson distribution if you don't know about it. So this is our standard Wasicek model. So dxt is theta times mu minus xt dt plus sigma dwt. So this is our drift and this sigma is our diffusion. To that we are adding this Gaussian jump. So notice that the coefficient of the jump is 1. So this is 1 times dzt. So you can control your jump here. So you can either draw from normal 0, 1 and then decide what is the size you want here. You could multiply it by 1, 2, 3 or so on. So the long term mean for uh, this distribution is mu and speed of reversion is theta, instantaneous volatility is sigma. This is same precisely as it was in Wasicek model. So the only new thing we are adding is this Gaussian jump. So you can control this jump by either controlling your normal distribution and controlling the jump coefficient or both. So you require this package. We are going to set the grid to 1000. So I'm taking the intensity, this intensity lambda as seven. So this is intensity is going to determine the time at which the jump will happen. So the jump is going to happen from this distribution Z 0.2. So normal 0, variance is 0.2. So I've not set it as 1, I have set it as 0.2. So again you set the model, you have the drift, theta times mu minus x. You have the diffusion which is sigma, so this is your drift. This is your diffusion. Your state variable is x. Your time variable is t. You're going to solve for x. I'm taking the initial value as 0.2. So the jump coefficient is 1. So this is the jump coefficient, 1 times dzt. So this is the jump coefficient. So measure is jump. So this is the jump. So jump was, you have intensity of 7 and you are taking the jump from a normal distribution. So jump has two things, you know, when you will jump, so that is coming from Poisson distribution, that is intensity and how big your jump is going to be. And that is Gaussian. So your measure is jump measure type is CP means compound Poisson. So because we are taking from Poisson distribution. Then we are just going to simulate it, simulate this model M1 which I have just described. You're going to set the parameters. You have just three parameters, mu, sigma and theta. So you have theta here, mu here and sigma here. So this you do not have to parameterize because we have already parameterized here with the intensity and the jump size. Sampling you're going to take from the grid. I'm taking a thousand samples and then we are going to plot it and see the jumps. So let us see the see this in R and uh, we're going to plot it and see the jumps for in the figure. So let us run our model now. So we're going to select it and hit the run button and uh, here you can see the jumps. So there's a jump here, there's a jump here, there is a jump here. So you can simulate this many times and uh, you will get different jumps. So jump here, you can see jumps here and there are small jumps which we are not able to see because this is kind of, uh, there, there are thousand uh, values here. So you can see all different jumps happening in the model and your start value is 0.2. 
and you're drifting towards point one. So you can incorporate these uh, jumps in each and every one of your model. And as I said before, you know, a single simulation is not enough. You need to do almost a thousand simulations and then build probability distribution around it.